people get involved in your campaign. They say, you know what? I love this woman. I love what she's doing. She's fighting for us. This is John Burrell reporting for Conservative New Media. Yeah, and, and Sarah Palin talked about that, and we'll talk about that. But I'll do you one better, Dave. What's even worse, and Mike, Captain Mike can back me up on this, there were literally almost, I'd say, a half dozen to a dozen cameras there and mainstream media people there. I saw ABC7 out there. I think that um, um, one of the one of the uh, NBC channels were out there. They were all covered. I mean, this see, unlike unlike what the left does, they don't. You know, there wasn't like one little sign from some straggler who they tried to call a Sarah Palin supporter who had something maybe sort of extreme that they kind of close up to that would then appear all over the mainstream media. This you could see these. Uh, angry, I would say, aggravated and extreme uh, anti palin uh, protesters that are all over the place. And you have this guy there and who's leading the protest well, along with his buddy right in the middle of this with all these mainstream media cameras around and yet none of that shows up on any of the news reports whatsoever. We have to come here with conservative new media and show it on and air it on KFIV and Afternoons Live with Dave Diamond. And that's why it's so critical that people support KFIV, they support Dave Diamond, they support Afternoons Live, and they support conservative new media because you'd never hear about it other than that. I thought he was going to make a new word there. Angry. I was trying to figure out. I, 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 yeah. Well, I sometimes, that. yeah. I do that too. Every I time. think faster than I talk. You, well, you get passionate about this, and this is what. Yeah, you're I mean, come on. You know, we were talking during the break about the Constitution study we've been doing here on the show That's on right. Constitution Thursdays. Some of the things that that, that have become to concern me. I know what I so, was. It uh, Socrates said, "Wisdom is knowing what you don't know or understanding what you don't know." Yeah. As I've gone through the Constitution, the the, the single most surprising thing to me since January, the first week in January when we started this study was how little I actually knew. And we're only three articles into it. We haven't even hit four or the amendments yet, other than... I love the Constitution. Yeah, it's, there's a lot there. It's shocking to me how little, at 47 years of age, I didn't know after serving in the Navy for 10, 11 years, doing all these things. It's shocking to me how little I knew. It's a great point. And I get... Yeah. I got this 18-year-old kid out there yelling, bleep the Constitution? That, that you're fighting for, that people are dying for over in Afghanistan and other it's places. Crazy. It is crazy. And Sarah Palin talked about that. And she, you know, we'll, we'll wait on that. We're going to get to that. Yeah, we're going to get to that. We'll get to that here real soon. We're going to talk about the, the content of her speech, some other reactions to that. We've got a couple more reaction pieces to that. And, of course, your input. Were you there? Oh, yeah. What did you think? What have you seen in the media? And that's what do you think about what you just heard? Yeah, 551-3043-866-770-5556 on the web, KFIV1360. Dot com. It's half past. Here's Kiowa Sports. All right. Welcome back. JDB is here. Mike's here. They went to the speech the other night. We got just a little bit of time here. I yeah. want to talk about the actual speech itself that Sarah gave. Yeah. What, what in that speech resonated with you? What in that speech gave you what you needed? What in that speech is what really... I mean, that's why she was here. People paid a lot of money to see her. Oh, yeah. What, what did you carry away from that speech? Well, it was a fantastic speech, and she talked about a lot of things that tie in exactly with what we said before. And, you know, she talked about culture, freedom, liberty, America being a different country that came together for certain values, and it's up to the people to keep America great and free. And she was very Reagan-esque and quoted Reagan, cited Reagan, in, in having this sort of morning in America and why America is really great. And it is about the Constitution. And it is, unlike other countries that kind of were formed together through this war, that war, people decided to come to America because they agreed on a certain set of values liberty, freedom, and this type of stuff. And what she was saying is, whether it's in the school or outside of the school, you know, it's not just about the Constitution, it's not just a certain structure, because she quoted about the Weimar Republic, pre-World uh, War II Germany, having maybe, by some people's standards, arguably a more democratic system, maybe a better system than us, and yet, because the culture broke down and individuals broke down, if you will, it allowed the rise of Hitler. And she quoted de Tocqueville, and I love de Tocqueville, it's one of my favorite uh, uh, authors ever, uh, who was a, a Frenchman who came over here to study you know, democracy in America, that's one of his favorite uh, uh, books, that, uh, quote, America is a great country because America is a good country. And when you boil it all down, what she really was saying is, look, you have to be informed. 
You know, yeah, we have protesters out here that are protesting me. So what? Uh, Reagan handled that with a lot of aplomb and a, and, a, and, a, and, a, and good cheer and a smile. We need people to know about the Constitution. We need people to hold the, the st st uh, teachers accountable, the mainstream media accountable, our politicians accountable. You need to get out there and do what you're doing, Dave, which is read the Constitution. You need to educate yourself and get involved because, you know, you can't just say, hey, America's always going to be an okay country or, hey, we have a system that's going to make it okay. No. As we see now with this disastrous Obama administration, you have to be engaged. You have to weaponize yourself and arm yourself with information and be part of the process and have an active and free press, not a, um, a mouthpiece for the White House. That's what makes America great, and we have to continue to fight that battle like you did in the military. Other than that, great speech, good speech. Oh, I thought worth, it was a great speech. Worth, worth the 500 bucks a play? Yeah, they were very, very, very happy, and 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 we may or may not have time. We have videos up of Jeff Denham, uh, Senator Jeff Denham is running for the 19th Congressional District out here, and some other people that were reacting to the speech. They were extremely happy. It raised huge amounts of money, record money for the university. How can you not say it wasn't a home run? I mean, I, I was inspired. Well, that's the important part. It's Afternoons Live. We'll be right back.